When an electric vehicle battery gets worked hard, it generates heat. Not as much waste heat as a combustion engine, but enough to require a cooling system to maintain performance, longevity, and safety. Most EVs do this by passing coolant through tubes running along the bottom or along the sides of the cell to pull out some of that heat. Chrysler Electric has a better idea for thermal management, well suited for demanding applications including race cars, off-road machinery, and marine applications. I'll let Marcus explain. Hello, my name is Marcus Kreisler. I'm the founder of Kreisler Electric, and we are an American, Austrian-based company, and we are cooperating with John Deere. And yeah, what you can see here is an immersion-cooled battery with a 63 kilowatt-hour battery design. And Chrysler is also doing other portfolios from 20, 40, and 60 kilowatt. And those batteries will also fit in future John Deere products, but also other customers. So we have a, we're using a non-conductive liquid, an oil-based liquid. So we are not using glycol water. And the advantage of this is that we can, we have a direct contact on the cell surface. So around 45% of the cell surface is in direct contact with this liquid. So we can ensure that every cell has a homogeneous temperature. So we're using around 3,500 cells in this kind of battery. And we can ensure that uh, around two degrees Celsius temperature spread from, yeah, from the coldest to the hottest uh, are, are there and not more. Chrysler worked very strong together with the company Shell. And this liquid was specially developed for lithium ion batteries. Yes, and we use this since 2018 and uh, we have many products in the field. And with this product, yeah, we have one of the safest uh, systems in the market in relation to energy density. Very important is that especially lifetime. And if you look on lithium ion batteries, they need, to, they need to operate in the ideal temperature. And if it works outside of this temperature, then you have a lot of degradation of the cell. So the li cell life drops very, very fast. It could happen that the cell, drop, cell life drops by 50%. Therefore, it is so necessary that you can change the temperature very fast and heat it up or cool it down always to the ideal area. The ideal area is between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. And therefore, is with immersion cooling, you can change that within a few minutes. If you compare us with others, they need 40 minutes even more. Uh, this is a very big advantage. To be fair, Chrysler Electric isn't the only company working on immersion-cooled EV batteries, but they sure do have an early lead. They have a range of batteries in production that can be combined to deliver the right storage capacity and voltage for commercial EVs and off-highway machines, including for John Deere. If that doesn't float your boat, how about for marine applications and e-motorsports? Links to their website and their YouTube channel will be in the notes. Thank you, Marcus, for explaining your cool battery technology. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, cool, cool battery.